Hey Shook, welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we're here to do Saggy's reading um, for the eclipse. Okay, this is your eclipse reading. We're going to look at the energy from the recent past, the current energy, as well as what the eclipse is bringing in for you in the immediate future, and the overall. Okay, if the reading does not resonate, don't try to make it. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign of Sagittarians. Sagittarians. For Sag. One more shot. Okay. Okay, Sage. Your overall energy, the wheel of fortune with the four wands. You're like, it's time. Yeah, I think it's time. I think it's time for me to go ahead and lock some down, get into a relationship. It is clapping season. <laughs> All right. Let's see what happened in the recent past. The Ten of Swords, okay? So you experience some type of ending, betrayal, done, okay? Current energy, okay? Maybe you're healing from that this time. Four of Swords. Taking a break, getting yourself together, recovery for you. And the immediate future, the Queen of Wands. That's your energy. All right? So let's see. You might be like, you know what? I think it is time. I'm like, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling more confident. I'm feeling good with your Queen of Wands energy. Let's see. Here we go. Four Sage. Four Sage. Okay. Let's look at the recent past. We have the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here in the recent past for Sagittarius? The Four of Pentacles. You could have ended something because somebody was holding back. Okay. You might have might have realized, okay, someone is holding back because they were hurt by someone else. Okay. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Sagittarius? It's like you're holding back from me because of someone else. Why is this Ten of Swords here? Yeah. Yeah, you found out something. You realized something. Page of Swords and the Moon. It's like you realizing like a secret or something that someone was suppressing. Okay? And you might have walked away from them. Okay? Yeah. You chose to go in a new direction. Why is the Ten of Swords here? For Sagittarius. The Seven of Cups, all right? And the Eight of Swords, all right? You might have realized that, um, like, if there was a lot of confusion, um, that someone was, like, creating confusion, like, self-imposed, like, um, or even restrictions around, like, why you guys can move forward, why they're holding back, okay? With the Magician Energy and the Emperor, okay? You might have manifested a way to go towards your happily ever after, Okay? Or might even felt like, you know what, I have the power to do what I feel like I need to do to get what I want, okay? Because the Emperor steps up to take the lead, okay? And with the Magician energy, that's like you having the tools that you need in order to get what it is that you want, okay? So with this Four Source energy in the current, just taking a break. Healing, recovery. Why is the Four Source here for Sagittarius? Yep. Star. The King of Wands. Yeah, you're healing from that disappointment, okay? Healing from a past disappointment, okay? Yep. You were sad about an ending, okay? With the Strength card, could be with a Leo, all right? But you're overcoming it, okay? Four Swords for Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. you're moving on to something better okay you're moving on to a better state all right because you're seeing things differently now okay you're moving out of this stuck energy as well okay 
Because with the Hierophant energy and the Six of Wands, yeah. You're seeing that commitment can be good. I can have a good commitment. I see why this one didn't work. Okay, you're holding back from me because it's somebody else, right? Yeah. Okay. Because in the immediate future, you're feeling good, feeling fine. Why is the Queen of Wands here in the immediate future? This could be someone you were attached to. Uh -huh, the, attached to. Because the King of Wands is here. All right? Commitment with the Hierophant energy. Okay? With the Queen of Swords and the Death card, Three of Cups. That could have been a third party. You're making a decision about commitment, maybe with a Queen of Swords. Okay? You could be telling this fire sign, this uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay? Um, about this decision. Okay? Why is the Queen of Wands here for Sagittarius? Mm -hmm. The Seven of Wands energy, the King of Cups, and the Six of Cups. Yeah, and you're standing your ground on this decision. Because with the King of Cups energy, you might feel like you have deep emotion for someone from your past, okay? And you want a relationship with them, okay? And with this Knight of Cups energy and the Empress, you're moving forward to progress that forward. Okay, so you're moving in that direction. Okay, so you can definitely be telling this Queen of Wands in the immediate future that you are going into a commitment with someone else. Okay. So with this Wheel of Fortune as the overall energy, that's about change. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? It's the overall energy for Sagittarius. Will of Fortune. Yeah. This is changing your future. Okay. With the Three of Wands energy, you have a different view on things. Okay. And with the Strength card and the Sun card, you might have realized, like, I'm resisting happiness by staying in a situation that's holding back from me. Mm -hmm. And you're ready for change with that Will of Fortune. You're ready to move the wheel. You're ready to move things forward. Why is the Will of Fortune here? For Sagittarius. Yep. And you're making a concrete decision. With Temperance being here and the High Priestess, you are following your intuition. You're at peace with this decision. Okay. You're balanced when it comes to making this decision. Okay. You're firm and you're, you're grounded when it comes to making this decision. Okay. This uh, Queen of Wands might want to you know, give equally now, now wants to like be active, okay? But you're ending it, okay? Because you want something new. Queen of, I mean, Will of Fortune for Sagittarius. Will of Fortune, yep. Making a concrete decision to end a cycle, world, okay? So that you can have your wish fulfilled. Nine of Cups. Yeah. There's drama around this decision, but you're ready to put in the work because you're not happy and you want something new. Mm -hmm. Eight of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Let's get you a message. Messages for Sagittarius for this eclipse energy. This eclipse reading, what do we have for Sag? For Sag, for this eclipse reading. Okay. Okay. You have, you make me happy. Yeah, because you're definitely going in a new direction. <laughs> I love you, okay? And I wasn't ready, okay? Because you're definitely making a decision about someone from your past. But my deck says, I'm taking action. Oh, you're moving. Mm -hmm. So that's what I have for you, Should I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon.
Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Wish you guys already. Bye.